Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. So today I will be talking about how to fix the auto locking issue on Apple Watch and particularly Apple Watch Series 7. Let's get to it. All right, welcome back. So very recently I got a brand new Apple Series 7 watch and uh, this is the watch which was given to me by my family uh, it's a Christmas present a very early Christmas present and um, the issue that I've got is that it just keeps on locking on me every time I put my hand down or doing something it just goes into this lock mode and then I need to punch in the keywords just to unlock it only for it to lock immediately now the other issue when that happens is that if you're wearing a face mask, which we are these days, uh, I can't seem to unlock my iPhone. So I gotta punch in the number there. I gotta punch in the keywords here. The other issue is also when I'm out and about and I wanna use Apple Pay, I can't use my Apple Watch to make Apple Pay payments. And it's just really, really frustrating. So I started looking online and trying to figure out what's going on. I started, I restarted the watch, uh, paid it multiple times with my iPhone, uh, reformatted my iPhone, just try to do everything possibly that I could do to fix the issue. And I looked up on YouTube and, and finally I realized that some people are complaining that if you have tattoos, that's when the issue happens. And so I got to the point where I was like, you know what, maybe I'm gonna return this um, and get something simpler, just like an older model especially the ones which doesn't have all the bells and whistles in it, like the heart rate, heart sensors and all all that stuff. Uh, but I stumbled upon free few videos and they talked about how you can actually uh, use, uh, you know, the back of the bottle cap. There's like this little plastic thingy to block the sensors because it turns out to be it's the heart rate sensors, the ECG and the uh, oxygen measuring sensors these are the sensors which are having trouble in reading um, uh, your your bloodstream and whatever they do uh, these sensors and and the, the the ink in the tattoos is actually blocking the sensors from reading making an accurate reading and so the apple watch thinks you're not wearing a watch and basically it goes into an auto lock because that's the main feature. Like when you put the wrist, uh, when you put the watch on your wrist, watch knows that it's on the wrist, so it's not gonna lock. And uh, but because of tattoos, it just keeps on locking. So right now, as you can see, my Apple Watch is not locked at all. But, you know, it's working because I've got a temporary fix, and it seems to work. Now you you may have to do this on every single day, uh, but it lasts for like 24 hours, which is actually pretty impressive or you may be able to go around and use it for many days without um, without doing what I'm gonna show you um, that you have to do so that your Apple Watch doesn't go in the lock mode. Now, my very first, and I'm gonna demonstrate all of this on my Apple Watch Series Zero. I've only had two Apple Watches, uh, th this one, and now the seventh one, uh, Series Seven and I'm gonna demonstrate on this. Now, I got lucky with this one, I suppose, because this one didn't really have a lot of oxygen uh, measuring sensors and ECG uh, sensors. Um, so it was a very simple watch, but the only issue I had with this, that I wasn't able to use Apple Pay, nor I was able to upgrade it to iOS 8, which is required to uh, unlock your phone if you're wearing a face mask. All right, so the fix is kind of simple. You may have to do it every single day, as I said before, or you may have to do it uh, after every two or three days later, but it's a very inexpensive fix. So there's this thing called parafilm, also known as budding film. Now budding film, as you can see in this photographs, you can actually get from nurseries or your hardware store, and people use that to do grafting or just uh, attach the stems together. A lot of florists also use this tape. Um, 
And this particular brand that I'm using here right now is Parafilm. And you don't need a lot of it to actually do it. And all you have to do is block the sensors so that you can go ahead and fool the Apple Watch by, by making it believe that no, it is on the wrist. So it's not trying to read through the sensor. So that's the only drawback with this thing. So the only thing you're gonna lose with this is that you won't be able to measure oxygen, blood oxygen, and do the ECG or the EKG reading. Uh, but other than that, you'd still be able to unlock your phone with this. All the activity rates, you know, you could still measure that. Um, you can still use Apple Pay. Um, what are the features? Um, all the tracking stuff you can do. So that's really good. And your battery will last longer. And, and the reason I'm talking about that is that um, there's another way as well, if you don't want to use a film, this budding film or parafilm, you can actually use um, the anti-wrist detection mode. So if you go into your Apple Watch setting, you can say to your, you can change the settings to um, wrist detection off. With that, what will happen, you won't be able to use Apple Pay, but you would still be able to uh, measure your oxygen and measure ECG, but you have to do that manually. So rather than the watch doing it automatically during the day, you have you have to do that manually. And seriously, actually, that is not too much of a biggie either. Um, one of the things that I did notice with that was that my battery went down pretty fast. I could be wrong. Maybe I was using my Apple Watch a lot for other features, and, and that's why the battery went down. But that is something you can test. Um, and something I will also test in the future and see what really happens and I may make another video uh, for that as well. All right, without further ado, let me show you how this thing works. So this film is um, very flexible and um, it's, uh, you don't need anything to stick. It sticks to itself and it adheres to anything else as well. So I'm gonna cut a tiny little square, just like so. And, and then I'm gonna cut it right in the middle. And then I'm gonna use these two pieces. Um, if you like, you can even cut it into four little tiny squares, additional further tiny squares. But I probably won't do that right now um, because I wanna demonstrate it and see how it works. All right, so this is my Apple Watch Series Zero. And by the way, I might as well quickly show you what I've done at the back of my watch. So I've got the parafilm attached. And because you don't need anything to stick this parafilm or the budding film, um, because it attaches to itself and it attaches to other things as well, when you're ready to peel it off, you just peel it off easily and absolutely no residue, sticky residue or anything is left there. So, and that is pretty cool, you know? Um, all right, so let's put my Apple Watch back on, and I'm gonna show you it on um, the other one. All right, so there's a protective film, uh, paper, sorry, not film. This is a little film, and I'm gonna remove the piece of paper which is attached to it. Gosh, it's a little tricky to come off, all right. And now you're left with this little film. It's a real transparent film. And I think what it's really doing is just blocking those sensors and, and then basically thinking that your Apple Watch is on the wrist, pretty much, by blocking that and fooling your Apple Watch. And I just place it at the back and I give it a little stretch. Hope you guys can see it. And it attaches to it. Uh, now there's a bit left over here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attach the second bit as well. And it's okay if it falls, the film falls or whatnot, cause you can always fix it again. So now I've attached two pieces of the film. Now this film is very thin. It's so thin that you won't even feel it. It's there. Um, so I've applied there and let's do the same thing here as well. There we go. Literally, this film molds to anything. That's the beauty of this film. All right, and then you can adjust it, make it tidy so it's not visible. And you know what? It's not such a biggie because at the end of the day, 
um, it's hidden on top of your wrist so no one can actually see it and that's great so your watch is still gonna look very nice uh, as you can see it I've got the parafilm at the back the budding film and this is what it looks like I hope the focus is working I don't want to bring it too close to the camera because otherwise the focus will be an issue but we'll try it I'll just try it anyways All right, all right. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to peel it off as well. So when when you're ready to peel it off, uh, just go like so. And your Apple Watch, you don't even need to clean anything underneath because this thing is not sticky, but it sticks to things. That's the beauty of this film. All right, guys. Um, well, I hope I was able to help some of my other fellow tattooers um, it sucks that um, Apple hasn't been able to fix this issue and I'm not sure if this is an issue which will ever be fixed but for the time being there are two easy fix obviously one switch off the wrist detection but then you'd be able to wear the watch and won't be able to unlock your iPhone if you're wearing a mask and also you won't be able to use Apple Pay without punching in the key and of course, the other option is to use this thing, uh, the, the parafilm or the budding film, uh, which you can find at a florist or at your hardware store. Um, and the good thing with this would be that you don't need to punch in any numbers. The watch still thinks that it's on the wrist, which is great. You can still use Apple Pay. You can still unlock your iPhone if you're wearing a mask. And uh, what else? If you have to read ECG or e EKG or blood oxygen, that is something you won't be able to do. So that's the only drawback. So I guess at the end of the day, it comes down to what's going to work for you better and which options you are ready to sacrifice. In my case, um, I wish I was able to actually use ECG or EKG. Uh, in the blood oxygen meter as well, but unfortunately I can't do that. Beats per minute, it can still measure. Um, and I'd also like to quickly point out that one of the things I have noticed is that even though I've got this uh, budding film or parafilm behind uh, the Apple Watch on the sensors, one of the things I've noticed like if I place my hand uh, in a vertical way, like if I'm sitting and I'm putting the hand next to my cheek, uh, the gyroscope I think kind of like detects it um, and, and it thinks it's not on the wrist so but any other times if it's sitting flat or even just like so if you the watch goes upside down or you're running or you're walking or doing any other work it's okay but occasionally I've noticed if you do this and you're sitting like this for a while um, the auto lock switches on and that sucks See, at the moment, nothing happened. As you can see, the watch is still on. So, yeah. yeah. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope I'm able to help some of the Apple Watch users who have wrist tattoos. Um, and hopefully, you guys be able to find this parafilm or budding film in, um, at a florist near you. I'm going to leave a couple of eBay links um, in the description below so these are the links which are for the eBay store Australia but I'm pretty sure uh, around the world if you go to like a hardware store or a florist or a nursery definitely be able to find this budding film which is used for plant grafting and florists use them to wrap around the stems of the flowers. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also hit the notification uh, bell so every time I post a new video, you will be notified. And um, I post a lot of videos related to tech, uh, music, heavy metal music, uh, guitar gear, amplifiers, vinyl. I do vinyl reviews and CD reviews, mostly heavy metal and hard rock. 
and uh, I also do some vlogging as well. All right, see you guys next time.